loves trains here. I'm just outside of Manchester Piccadilly station as today I'm doing another one of those things that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now and it is to ride first class with Avanti West Coast. I've got about an hour until my train departs which is going to take me all the way down to London Euston. First things first I best just print off my ticket. Well, that took me by surprise. I thought I'd booked it, so I had to print it out, but turns out I've actually got a mobile ticket. <laughs> I am gonna go and check out, hopefully it's open, the Manchester Piccadilly First Class Lounge, which I've never been in before. I believe it's at the top of these stairs here. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. Well, that's a bit gutting. It says on the opening times that it is open. However, when I push the door, you can't actually get in there. So when I get to London Euston, I'm gonna make the most out of going in the first class lounge there instead. I am going to be riding on 391.11. It has pulled in a little bit late to the station because I think there's some speed restrictions down the line due to the weather conditions because it is actually snowing this December. I did just walk down to my reserved seat, which is J18, but it is an aisle seat, so I've just come back up and sat here for now. I'm just waiting for the reservations to pop up on the screen just to check if this seat is available or not, because I want this one. Here we, go. we were supposed to depart at 11.55. It's now 12.04, so it is nine minutes late. Now, to save on the price of the ticket, I did book it yesterday. It cost me £81.50 for an advanced single in first class. But by doing that, it obviously meant that I couldn't tell which unit I would be riding on. Unfortunately, it has turned out to be an unrefurbed pendo. But the experience on board will be the same as what you get in a refurbed pendo. <laughs> All the seats within the first class carriages, from what I can see, come with a table and on that table you do get all of these lamps. And also, just below here, you have got a power socket. As for the seat itself, it is slightly bigger than in standard class and it comes with a fatter armrest and a first class cover on the headrest. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Increase. Like with the other two classes of travel at your seat, you will find a reading light and of course my favourite thing on pendolinos, a knicker hawk. Hello Jamie, Hi, are you alright? Yeah, please. Have you got any vegan options? Well, the only vegan option we've got, unfortunately, <laughs> is a salad. At least it's something. I'll take a is salad. Right? Yeah, of course. Thank you. and possibly the fastest served food I've ever received. I have a salad. It's got like sweet corn and chickpeas and some green things in it. I will enjoy this. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. It's like at Weatherspoons when they bring the food before the drinks. I always love it when food and drink are complimentary. Although with that salad, they probably could like something alongside it. <laughs> so good job I filled up on breakfast this morning. We'll be chilling and having a good good time. It's a bit wobbly, they have brought the drinks now. I've got a black coffee with sugar and um, a can of Pepsi as well. Cheers everyone. <laughs> Just pulling into crew work, probably someone is having a poo. I hope nobody's gonna try and take my seat now because the reservations still haven't flashed up. It's quite quiet on the platform, so I hope not because I do like this seat at the back of the coach. Now this Christmas, we're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 dance. We're gonna dance, 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 have a good 
we're just coming up to Stafford, which is the final calling point before we terminate at Euston. Again, I am hoping that nobody comes on board and tells me to bugger off out of the reserve seat and then I can just, but I mean, I'm very relaxed already as it is, but just chill out even more for the rest of the journey down there. <laughs> It's looking good, I've got the seat, and you know what, I was hoping for a quieter service, and it is just that, well, in first class anyway. Brick knows what it's like down that end of the train. Just come for a wee, there is a toilet located in first class, but you know, it's just the same as your standard toilet, there's nothing too special about it. <laughs> My days has gone really hot on here. Then again, I'm still wearing my scarf. I'm going to connect to the onboard Wi Fi, put my headphones in, listen to some Christmas tunes as we head into London, and just admire these absolutely gorgeous snowy views that we've got at the moment. And I did hear as well that London woke this morning to a thick layer of snow, so it should theoretically get a lot whiter outside of the window. Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Happy days, they've just brought me another coffee. <laughs> Absolutely spectacular at the minute. Lots of snowy hills. Riding along this route at this time of the year certainly will put you in a Christmas mood if you're not already in one. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just get better on a blanket with the sky. I'm feeling so relaxed right now. I really don't want to get off this train, but we are nearly. Houston now. When leaving us here, make sure you have all your luggage and belongings with you. And please mind the step down to the platform. A good, good time. Squishy babies! Here I am in London. That was actually like a really fast journey down here. It was only two hours, ten minutes. But like I mentioned in Manchester, I am going to go and get myself in that first class lounge. I mean, if that salad on the train wasn't filling enough, I'm sure this apple is just gonna make me absolutely stuffed. Even if that and a banana is the only food choice for me right now, I do love this first class lounge. It is taking me back, not so long ago actually, that I was here for the first time when I went to ride the Caledonian Sleeper. The last time I was here, the new information boards at London Euston, they were up, but they weren't working yet. But this time round, they are actually in use. They're giving away free Pepsi Max over there. I might go get one. To sum up my first class ride with Avanti West Coast, I'd say it was like standard premium, but with the salad. The snowy views were absolutely spectacular. The whole ride was just so relaxing. But the best thing about it by far was the service. The staff who served us in first class were fantastic. I would ride first class again, but maybe next time I'll be checking the menu to see if they've added any more substantial vegan meals. Thank you very much for watching. I wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye!